Listen and practice English reading with me. When I learned that my 70-year-old mother was playing Scrabble against herself, I knew I had to do something. Who is playing? I asked one day when I saw a half-finished game on the table. My right hand versus my left. Excuse me, I said. Well, your father doesn't play and I want to keep my mind sharp. An admirable pursuit. But I questioned whether my mother's solitary version of Scrabble would achieve that goal. My husband suggested we give her a computer to play against. I wasn't sure my mother was ready for a cyber Scrabble. It had taken 15 years to persuade her to buy a microwave. Nevertheless, we packed up our old PC, complete with Scrabble and word processing programs, and delivered it to my parents' home. And so began my mother's adventure in the world of computers. It also marked the beginning of an unusual teaching assignment for me. I have taught children and adults of all ages, but never thought I would be teaching my mother to do anything. Despite the look of horror on her face when she first saw our gift, my mother was eager to get started. She sat mesmerized on the screen lit up and the various icons presented themselves. Slowly but surely my mother caught on, making notes in a little spiral book. I wondered how she would fare without me. But thereafter she only spoke on her game on the computer to me. She even forgot to ask her stock question. What did you have for supper? It was no longer on the agenda. Instead, she talked about RAM, ROM, and CPU terms, spilled out effortlessly from her mouth. My mother had acquired a new mother tongue. After a lifetime of being her child, I was finally the one with knowledge to share with my mom. But even now, I realize she continues to teach me. I am learning that no matter how old you are, a willing spirit is capable of anything.